series on how to make a collective card game. And welcome to my tutorial series on how to make a collective card game in Unity. In this video, we're going to learn how to add an image to our card and be able to swap the image based on which card we want to draw. So in this case, it was human. But if I switch the ID to the next one to two, which I believe is dwarf, we'll get a different picture. And I'll explain why this picture looks kind of funny at the end of the video. So in the last video, we created scriptable objects. And to do that, I created a second card than the other card that I created two videos ago when I was just doing classes for our database and how to retrieve our data. But for this one, we're going to go back to using this card. So to do that, we're just going to simply uncheck that card, the one that says one in parentheses. We're going to go to the other one. We're going to activate it. And that's what this box does. It activates a game object. That's why it came up in the screen here. And we're going to go ahead and activate our card database again. But I'm going to leave this here because I'm going to probably return to the scriptable object uh, foundation that was created in the previous video. But for now, we're just going to keep going with this. So another thing that I did is that I created a folder for these scriptable objects that I created. I just SO for scriptable object cards. And if you need to know, you just right click, go up to create, highlight folder, click on it, and you create a new folder for that. And another thing I created was this resources folder. And inside of it, I have two sprites. Um, I didn't change anything here. I just imported them. I just simply dragged them into this folder. One's called comic book heroes silhouettes. That seems like a long name. Let's rename this actually. Let's just put comic book heroes. I think that's good enough. So these two sprites I will have in a Google Drive folder and I'll provide that link in the description for this video. So you can have access to them, but you can use any PNG or any image that you like for your card game. These are just placeholder art that I'm using right now and I'll probably come back and replace them at a later time to something that is more suitable for this game. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to click on assets. We're going to go into scripts and the first one we're going to open up is our card script. And we're basically going to create a sprite to go along with the format we have here. Only in this case, I'm going to have a public sprite and that's sprite with a capital S and I'm going to call it simply sprite. And down here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a comma. And in here, I'm going to put Sprite again with a capital Sprite. Actually, this is might get confusing. Let's let's change this up a bit in terms of names. Instead of Sprite, I'll make Sprite image. This way, I'm not using the same word over and over again. It might get confusing. Comma space. And then I'm going to put Sprite. And then... Great. Oops. Sprite image having trouble typing. So just keep in mind that I took this sprite and it this has a lowercase in the beginning, just like all the others. And when I put the one here in the argument, this one had a capital letter, just like all these did. You know, here I have power with a lowercase, power with an uppercase, because they're two different things here where we're going to be passing information through here and then defining it here. So just like last time, only this time with the sprite. So then I'm going to say that sprite with a lowercase is going to equal uppercase sprite image. So now we want to go into our card database folder and we want to make sure that we put our sprite image into our database. And to do that, we're going to go right here. We're going to create a space and we're going to put resources and then dot load. Oops, brackets. And inside here, we're going to write the word sprite. 
And next to that, we're gonna have a parentheses. And inside the parentheses, we're gonna put quote, comic heroes. And then at the end, actually we should have one more parentheses right there. I'll make a little space so we can differentiate between the two. Actually, this should have a comma also. So after our none here, we should have a comma. It should say resources.load, then in between these brackets, the word sprite and comic heroes. Resources.load refers to right here is I have this folder called resources. We're creating a, a, a route for this or a path for this where we're saying we want to load what's in this folder right here in the folder, excuse me, the folder's name is resources. So that's what is referencing right here, resources.load. And in there we want to load a sprite and the sprite's name is comic heroes. And remember when you're naming stuff that it has the same exact spelling, comic heroes, like that. So back to our script here, we're going to now take this, right click, copy, and right here, put comma, oops, we don't need to put a comma space because we, control V, actually, yes, we do need to put a comma there. So now it says the same thing, resources.load, sprite comic heroes, but now we wanna put the name of the other sprite, which is, Cyber Girl. So as before, make sure that you spell this the same as you would right here. I'm sorry, right here where it says Cyber Girl. So now we're just going to repeat everything here to fill in the rest of our card list. So Control V to uh, paste, and there it says resources, and then we have the comic heroes comma, space, control V, and then we'll change this one to cyber girl. And the last one, control V, we'll just leave as comic heroes. I'll leave these spaces here so when you're looking at them, there isn't much confusion with all these parentheses at the end. And so we have alternating pictures for each one of our card that it is going to look a little weird because our human is going to be cyber girl and our troll is going to be comic heroes like i said i'll probably fix this later and you can provide what em excuse me whatever images you want so with that in mind we'll hit save there and then we'll go to display card and now here under these variables we're going to put public sprite, like we did before. And we're gonna name it the same thing. We're gonna put sprite image, and down here into these, which, which correspond to our UI, we're going to put public image, and we'll just call this art image. And down here, where we have to, in our start function, where we wanted uh, this to increment, we're going to put here, sprite image is going to equal display card, brackets with a zero in it to show that it's starting from the beginning, which is zero. And then at the end of it, dot, sprite image semicolon at the end and then down here what we want is that we want to put art image dot sprite and that's going to equal oops art image semicolon and a small little error right here. This should not be art image. This should be sprite image. So just to recap for a second, just because we did a lot of typing here and we went, kind of went back and forth between sprite image and art image and a lot of things that might seem repeatable. We started off by in our card script by making a public sprite and we named it 
sprite image. And then we have our public card function right here, which we, you know, drove through all our our uh, variables right here in strings. And then we added sprite to this. And we here called this sprite image, and we, we called it with a capital letter to differentiate between these on the right hand side and what we want to define them as, which were these lowercase ones. So these are not, these are being uh, the information or the information about the variables are going to be placed into here and then redefined here. So then we go over here to our save. So we go over here to our card database and here we had, you know, the the variables as they were placed in order in the card, you know, here's their ID, here's the name of it, the health and the strength of it, the description, and then here is where we provided the sprite and we loaded it from a folder called resources, which is here. We loaded from this resource folder dot load, said we are looking for a sprite, in the case of one, it's called Comic Heroes. In the case of the other, it's called Cyber Girl. And make sure you spell this exactly the same as these are spelled, the names of these pictures are spelled, otherwise it won't work. And then lastly, we went to Display Card and we defined our variables right here, our in strings and sprites. Then these coincide with what's in the UI because it's in the form of text and image here, because it's not called sprite in the UI, it's called image. When we go over here to our card, it's an image. And then we basically at the start populated our card and the UI using this information right here. So let's go back into Unity and let's go back to our card. And right here we have our first card Let's go to, actually, yeah, let's just use the first card. Let's hit play, that's its ID. So when we hit play, card number one is a human. Oops, we forgot to load the image. That's why there's a null reference there. Clear that out, go back to project, and where were we here? Go back to card, and right here, this one it says none sprite, but keep that one blank. And this one right here, art image, what we want to do is grab this image right here, just the same way we populated all these others last time, and we're going to put this here. And now, when we hit this, we should see our Cyber Girl. Um, ID one is human. I well, it is human. It's right there. And then let's go to our card database. Here's all the information for human, and it was Cyber Girl. And let's just show how if we go to shut this off. Go to ID2 and we'll hit play and it will put in all the information for that and the picture of the heroes, which are black. And I think the reason behind that is because this image border right here is black. So I'm going to bet if I could grab this. Yeah, see, that's because the image behind it was black. So maybe that's something to change or consider or maybe just change the color it, maybe make it red. I'll just leave it as is because I'll probably change the picture later anyway. So if yours is black too, and you're using the same picture, it's because this image border right here that goes around the edges, that was black. So that's the reason for that. But what we wanted to work works. So as I said previously, there will be a link to a Google Drive folder for these pictures if you want to use them or you can use your own pictures. That's it for today. As always, thank you for watching. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and support me on Patreon. And a special thanks to my Patreon supporters. See you next time.